Well, welcome back to my studio. I'm still working on this commission, and I'm going to be doing a little brick arch over the lion fountain. I've already completed it on this other side. Uh, I showed you at the very beginning a, paint, a picture of the full painting so that you can see how it's come along since my last video. I also showed you all of my color mixtures that I have laid out. I mix all of my colors before I start painting so that then I don't have to stop and mix. You know, occasionally I'll have to do a little adjustment mixing, but I like to just get all my color out. These are all mixtures of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson. And then I've added cadmium orange into that. I've added some, and then I have another mixture. This green mixture is phthalo blue plus a little bit of cadmium orange. And that just makes the feeling that these old bricks are kind of mossy. This is a mixture right now of my ultramarine blue plus white and a little bit of my mud. And all of those burnt sienna mixtures are, again, they're my mud plus cadmium orange. Some of them I've added a little bit of cadmium red light, and then all of those have a little bit of white in them. The lighter ones have more white in them. The darker mixtures have less white. But uh, what I do is on this, on these bricks, I make the ones closest to us more orange, the more vibrant color. As they move back, then I use some of my greens and my blues. Again, we're working on a two-dimensional surface, a flat surface. We want it appear to be three dimensions. So warmer colors come forward, blues and greens go back. So the, or the mixtures with more orange and the cadmium red light in them tend to come forward. So that visually brings, brings these bricks forward. Just, I like a lot to get a lot of variation. These antique bricks, they just have a lot of colors in them. And I'm using a bright brush, this square-ended brush, and it just makes it very easy to shape, to shape these, these old bricks. And then I'm bringing some dark in between them where the crevices are. I don't do each and every one. I don't want them to be outlined. Um, paint more impressionistically. Now I'm using a smaller bright brush. Again, this has that square end and I just prefer these. Uh, I've tried lots of brushes and brushes are a very personal um, preference. Some people like these, some people don't. You'll find over time that you'll find the brushes that you like that work well for you. I just have found that these these work well for me, and so that's what I use. But that doesn't mean that you have to use them if, if you can't, if you don't feel comfortable using them, then just try with the different brush shapes. There's filberts, which I do have. This is a filbert. It's got more of a rounded, rounded tip. Let's see if I can find a bigger one. Um, yes, here we go. Lots of old brushes. This is also a filbert that's got the rounded tip. And then the uh, so there's that's another option that you can use. I used those for a while, but once I discovered these bright, the brights, the square shape, I just that's that's what I prefer to use. So again, I'm just using various mixtures here. I want my bricks to have different different variations within them because again, I want these to be just old, weathered, antique bricks came off maybe an old building somewhere. Or they've just been here for a long, long time. And so this is how I paint them. If you want to see the entire step-by-step -step process of this painting, I don't show videos of absolutely everything I do, but I do do a blog showing the, the full painting. Uh, I do several installments uh, because paintings, this painting may take me a week or 10 days to do. So if you will go to the link below in the description, you will get, or to the description below, you'll find the link to my blog. 
click on that and that will take you to the very first blog post in on this painting and then you can follow the blog throughout and, and watch the whole thing and you can subscribe to my blog so that you'll get an email every time that I make a new post so you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and on my YouTube channel if you will go click videos and you will get my full list of videos I've been doing these for quite some time and I've got videos showing how I mix paint and just all kinds of different things so if you'll go through that library archive you'll find just all kinds of goodies in there so I thank you very very much there's our bricks over the lion head and you just have a wonderful, wonderful day and happy painting.